Okay, so um, what we're going to do here is a little comparison of some Link and Scala. Uh, this sort of came out of an article that my business partner wrote in Link for Visual Studio Pro Magazine. And I was sitting around lunch one day and I saw it and I thought, hey, you know, I could use this to see what we could do with Scala and how I could use it to learn some more about Scala. So what you see on the top of this slide is um, constructing a couple lists of numbers and then um, iterating through them and making a new uh, list of the pairs of even and odd numbers. So the, the top is the C sharp length code and um, you can see that they're actually uh, sort of treating the data like you would an SQL query. You know, it, it's very query-like syntax. Um, from even and even numbers, from odd and odd numbers, select new even odd, okay, um, and then printing it out. So what I decided to do is see what we could do with Scala, and it's actually really nice and clean. Make this, make the list, and then you zip to zip together the numbers, and you get the, oops, same result. Well, for many differences, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so then I said, okay, well the next example in his article was. Um, Let's see, uh, sorting through the numbers that were greater than 5 and only including those ones. So uh, again, C sharp link at the top um, looks a lot like SQL, and on the bottom, um, in spite of my bad formatting, we, have a, we get to use the filter method and just sort through the list of um, even numbers, grabbing all S's where S is greater than 5, and then printing them up. So here's another, um, here's another example where we're going to use two conditions instead of just one. And uh, so we're going to just grab the numbers between 5 and 10. And at the top, it's you know very familiar with what we did previously. At the bottom also, it's just a little uh, addition to our filter. So grabbing all numbers, um, and even numbers, S, such that S is greater than 5 and S is less than 10. So then, this was the one that we were working on earlier today, uh, Joel and I, and with a lot of other help from other people. So the next example in his article is this, where you have a list of people, first and last names, and you sort them first by the length of their last and first name together, so their full name, uh, descending order, and then by the last name, and then by the first name. And uh, Bill, my business partner, tells me that there's some support in Link um, that the C-Sharp team put in there for this then by clause. And you can access it through this order by um, syntax. So how do we do this in Scala? I didn't have time to get this in here because we really did just finish this right while we were right before the lightning talk start. So let's see what we can go through. So this is still a work in progress. But basically what, what happened was Joel and I were working through the, um, basically duplicating the, the then by support. So we did all kinds of crud and I haven't cleaned this up at all. But, pardon me? Double click on the tab and you can click this screen. Oh, double click on this. Thanks, Joel. So, um, let's say we go down here. And we had, so we created a couple of functions, a last name sort, and um, the last name sort takes, this little class we created name, um, it takes two of them and uh, sorts them last. Um, so ignore those all sort name sort because those were just silly attempts. So we have our little list here that we're using for data, and in order to simplify typing, we're using Scala's map function for grabbing data out of um, a uh, out of this this simple list and put it and putting each of the elements into this these, this list of names. Then we have a couple of functions here, compare strings and compare int. Um, so uh, if I could get over there. How much time do I have? Fifteen seconds. Oh yeah. So we're not gonna get there. But um, the interesting one is the we have we we put all these other functions and then we get down to the then by function. You can see that we're working toward a solution here where we can pass in comparators. So we have two comparators that we're passing into the then by, and we're using a match expression to to decide whether we need to continue to keep sorting or whether we're done. And um, the next step is to generalize this and build up this match expression in a slightly different way so that we can't have um, an arbitrary number. So, 